Welcome to my simulation of the Phenom 100 electrical system. I've been working in part 147 training schools for about 10 years now and uh, we've never really had the budget to buy in uh, expensive um, simulations or training aids uh, to help with the lessons. So I've had to come up with my own solution and uh, this is the one that I've, I've created for the Phenom 100 electrical system. Uh, as you can see it opens up into the full screen mode if you've got a whiteboard an interactive whiteboard you can actually make it t you can touch the buttons and uh, make it work but this is on my laptop today so you'll see that I'll be using the mouse so when we click on the system it opens up and it shows us the electrical system pretty much as you would see it in the Embraer manuals <coughs> on the left hand side here we've got our electrical panel just as it would be in the aircraft here from the centre console we've got our engine starting uh, panel and below that we've got the synoptic page that you can access on the centre screen um, of the, uh, of the, in, the, in the cockpit. So here we've got our electrical system at the moment it's powered down. Uh, I've got a little icon here for information and if we click on that you can see that it brings up the names of all of the contactors uh, as you can see here it says the red ones are non-essential and they're the ones that are controlled by the GCU and the black ones are the essential contactors which are controlled by hardware logic. Uh, if you click here you'll remove this box but you'll leave the icons up there if you want or the names up there. If you want those to disappear so that perhaps students could uh, identify them uh, you can click on this button again and they'll disappear. But for the purposes of this little demonstration, I'll leave them up on the screen. Um, the other thing I didn't point out is when you click on this, this little icon here will take you to a picture of the right-hand PDU. Um, and you can see that I've highlighted where the various contactors are inside the PDU. Uh, same here for the left-hand one. Yeah, showing the contactors. Uh, also shows uh, one of the... Um, circuit breaker boards that's in the back and if you click on this little one here it shows you the emergency power distribution box uh, bizarrely this because I, I didn't get a, I never have really had a chance to get a good picture of this because I'm never around when the panels off this is from the Embraer uh, prototype model which is why you can see circuit breakers for tail shoots which isn't as you can imagine standard fit uh, also down here there's a, an enlarged picture to show the location of the two batteries. Okay, so if we get rid of that we'll leave our um, identifiers on. You can see at the top here we've got a little representation of a ground power unit. Okay, and if we turn the batteries on you can see the switches move and as we power up yeah, then the, um, the buses will colour in as we power them up and you can see the bus tie contact is closing, the battery contact is closing, the emergency bus contactor. Okay, and you can see that our synoptic page over here yeah, has shown the information that the pilot would see in the cockpit. If we click on our little external power trolley here, you can see that the little trolley has come up and it's telling you what voltage is on it and then you can see over here the GPU panel is showing that it's available and if we click on that you can see it goes to in use the ground power contactor closes and again our synoptic page also reflects this so the next thing we really want to do for the electrical system is to start an engine and to start an engine all we need to do okay and if we click on the engine it will go round to the start position hold it there for a couple of seconds and then click into the run position. As you can hear I've added in a um, sound effect I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in there but still. Uh, so we've started the engine yeah, and the ground power is connected so until we take that away the starter generator will not look, click in so we click it off you can see the starter generator has connected so now the starter generator for the number two system is supplying 
the entire system and charging both batteries okay so if we now click on the trolley again you can see that from the synoptic page that's disappeared and then when we go to start the number one engine you'll see that the engine uh, the running engine the number two engine will supply the central buses with the battery number two and the quiet start contactor will close allowing the number one battery to supply the DC buses ensuring that we don't get any um, flickering or disruption to our screens so the pilot can monitor the start so let's class start number one engine yeah, so you can see that I've highlighted that the buses change colors just so you can um, see which ones are supplying which system and then once the engine is up and running okay the line contactor will close uh, bus tie one will open effectively splitting the electrical system into two halves okay we can switch a generator off if we want to okay as you can see the system will automatically close the bus tie okay we can if we wanted to simulate opening up the bus tie and now we've got three electrical systems if you like we've got number one engine supplying DC bus one number two engine supplying DC bus two and the number two battery supplying the central buses uh, but that's obviously not an ideal system so we can click that background uh, close bus tie 2 again and now uh, engine 2 is supplying the central and DC bus 2 shed bus and charging number 2 battery and engine number 1 is supplying DC bus 1 um, emergency bus and recharging battery number 1 we can simulate what happens with a generator failure all right, and we can see that the system is automatically controlling itself with the bus ties opening and closing okay to compensate for the loss of a supply of electrical system and we can also close the DC bus one isolate effectively isolating number one engine from the system but at the same time still supplying power to the two batteries so that they will be charged and the same if the number two bus fails central bus failure effectively splits the aircraft into a uh, number two engine supplying DC bus number one engine supplying DC bus uh, and this obviously won't allow the battery to charge and if the emergency bus fails then we're effectively isolating the number one battery but the rest of the system will be powered up if it goes to worst case scenario we can fail both and we go into an electrical fail system or electrical fail scenario but again this is how the aircraft will react okay or should the pilot want to okay I've got a little button here to reset it um, or if the pilot wants to he can actually hit the button and we will then automatically just as a pilot would do if it under certain circumstances we will go into electrical emergency okay if we reset that the next thing to do then is to shut down the engines <coughs> yeah and then turn the power off so as you can see I've made it fairly interactive um, I've never had I haven't had any complaints since I've been using this for the teaching uh, most of the students I've had have seemed to be quite happy with it and uh, it's a uh, it's uh, because it's interactive you can make things work more uh, easier than you would do in a PowerPoint or another show anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll try and put a few more of the systems, aircraft system ones that I've done online in the future. Thank you. Bye.